That's old school. Hey, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael are under new management. They are taking up the torch as lead illustrator of the ongoing comic series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by IDW Publishing is none other than Indiana's own Gavin Smith in the house. Welcome. Thanks hey for guys. being here. Thanks First for having all, me. Sir, you are very cool. I don't know if you oh have any gosh. high school reunions coming up, but when everybody else is like, yeah, I'm in the, I don't know, an accountant, you're going to be like, yeah, psych, I got <laughs> the new Ninja Turtles. That right, is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's definitely probably one of the better jobs that come out of Peru, Indiana, so I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, explain how this happened, because this is a really big honor, and for you to have your name on this, I mean, how did that all play out? Uh, I promise I'll give you the quick version. Um, I, I've been freelance illustrating for about 10, 11 years now, uh, living in Fountain Square. And uh, after I graduated art school, I came to Indianapolis, started making my own comic books that eventually got noticed by other people. One job kind of rolled into the next. And about two years ago, I got offered to work on Star Trek for IDW, oh, wow. uh, the same company that publishes Ninja Turtles. And uh, as my run on Star Trek was coming to an end, I got in with the right people, right time, and I just asked, I was like, hey, is there a chance I could try out for this? And then not too long after that, they had me on some covers, and the next thing you know, they offered me the main book. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. If people are encouraged after hearing that, I don't know what else would encourage them. Yeah. You know, we should probably mention that you're also an established illustrator on other notable properties like you were just talking about. Star Trek to Dark Horse to Ghost in the Shell, <laughs> but what makes the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so personally special? Uh, I've been a fan since I was so young. Like I, I don't remember a point oh, in my life at, where I wasn't at, a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Earlier. Yeah, <laughs> and um, like I think that was in 1990. So wow. I'm about four or five years old there, and then that was me a couple weeks ago reenacting the photo. <laughs> I love that. I love that you were the dream that you had then. That's yeah. a yeah. really special. It's it's just one of yourself. those things that like I got into the right like I said, right timing, right place, and the right people, and I just found a way to make it happen. I just kept pushing for it the past mm. couple years. What's it like something like this where Ninja Turtles have been huge for so long and right. they have their own persona? You putting your own touch on it without it not being what it is. I mean, how do you manage that? Well, there's definitely people I have to answer to. Well, Nickelodeon owns the property sure. outright, so Nickelodeon has a lot of final say, and Turtles have to act and look a certain way. But I do get to put my own touch. I, I get to draw Raphael the way I get to draw Raphael, yeah. which is really cool. So I kind of have my ideas, and sometimes I try to sneak in my ideas, and sometimes <laughs> it gets shut down, sometimes it gets through. It's great. That's awesome. I love this so much. Yeah. You are participating in Free Comic Book Day at Comic mm -hmm. Book University coming up. Yes. Uh, tell us about Comic Book University. Is it an actual place? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. And it's in the Greenwood Plaza. Okay. Uh, it's okay. on the, um, in, uh, I guess, southern part of Indy. Um, it is uh, going to be open this Saturday. It's, it's been around for a number of years, and I, it's an event I do every year. Um, but we're going to be open this Saturday from 10, I think, the professional artists that are going to be there, myself, Dan Scotty, Jackie Crofts, and Mark Brenner, we're going to be there from 10 to 5 p.m. And the store is going to have a selection of free comic books for everybody. And every, anyone's welcome to come in, grab a number of them, and uh, check out the store. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's some of my original art here. I mean, this oh is my just gosh. Like, amazing. This stuff. is amazing. And how do you know when you're done? When you look at oh, it? Oh, man. <laughs> like, do you, my, is it just a feeling? Do you start I, yeah, on your nose? It's a, a little bit. It's. it's uh, Sometimes it's just time to walk away because I, I've only got so much time to produce so many pages within a month or six weeks or whatever time frame they give me. Gavin, you're the coolest dude, man. You're the coolest <laughs> Weird. dude. Thank you. Yeah. And now you're a part of our All Indiana family. Come back Love anytime. It. Thanks you, for we having me. We need an All Indiana comic book. <gasps> I've always wanted to be the voice of a cartoon, but maybe I you could put it on pages. Yeah. That's oh, right. We got stuff to talk about. Guys. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We'll More. be right back. Oh, I can't wait.